Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, February 18th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. And my hat, cat is here with us too, my honey. Oh, sweetheart. And I have a new painting today from the early 1800s by Francisco Goya. Also, Jesus praying at the Mount of Olives with an angel appearing. This time, though, Jesus is far from asleep. In fact, he's being, I would say, touched by the angel. His whole chest is open to the approaching of the angel. The angel is accosting him with this cup. And fully bodily, he is being thrust into his fate giving himself over to the cup of the passion. And the angel comes holding it gently, saying, for this is what you have to drink, this cup of suffering. We continue today in Paul's first letter to Timothy. Today, Paul is very direct with people who are pursuing wealth or who are wealthy. He says some fascinating things, but for those who want to be rich, they fall into temptation and are trapped by many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, and in their eagerness to be rich, some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pains. Pierced themselves with many pains. So having money to be the first priority in your life, the pursuit of it above your relationship with God, um, causes great pain and traps you and pierces you. Isn't that interesting? I can just think of things att attacking you. He instructs the wealthy later on in the passage to um, be generous, to do good works, um, be ready to share, and use their wealth to store up treasures in heaven, which is a beautiful image. So it's not so much being wealthy that's the problem. It's, it's the pursuit of money above all else, and it's the failure to use money as an agent of good. So he's very specific. What I find most fascinating though is the fact that we can trap ourselves in our obsession with money, in our desire to get more. I suppose this is true of any kind of addiction. Anything that we put above God can become a trap, a false life. Um, Jesus says, we want you to store up treasures in heaven so that they may take hold of the life that is really life. Isn't that a beautiful phrase? So that they may take hold of the life that is really life. We want to make sure we're pursuing what is really life, what is really love, not all the mirage of buying things and feeling successful and all the things that come with money, but make sure you're pursuing those things that are eternal. Love, faithfulness, goodness. As long as those are key and forefront, the rest will follow. Let us pray. Almighty God, you confront us with texts to challenge us. Help us keep our priorities in order. We thank you for that. We ask you to help us to always pursue the real life, the really important things, which are our faithfulness and service to you above all else. Lord, we ask you to bless the sick today, to bless those who are hungry, those who mourn, those who are dying, those who are lonely, those who struggle with addiction of any kind, any kind of obsession from money to drugs to people pleasing to so many things. Help us always to place you first and nothing else. 
We ask that you would blanket this earth with your grace and your peace. We ask that you would give us a reverence for this beautiful planet that you've given us. Guide us to be wise as a human race, Lord Christ. And help us on this day to do your will in this world, as Jesus did. No matter how challenging or hard that work may be today. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.